So, we have our designs. Now it is time to translate those designs into a real UI. Now this won't be the finished version, but it'll be enough to get us going. So I'm gonna start off with this home view. Our text is gonna say, welcome. We're gonna call this pickups, 15, seven apps used, 15 pickups, and what would be two hours? Let's start making this look good now. I'm gonna give this this gray background. I'm gonna give it some padding inside of it. I'm gonna do this separator. Oh, that looks so good already. Add some spacing. 10 looks like too much. Let's try eight. I like eight. Now we need to create our chart. Actually, I'm gonna add the lockdown button first. Okay, now let's give this thing a background. That looks hideous, but this is a work in progress, so don't judge me. Now we have to make our chart. Uh, the good news is I've built apps with charts, so I am currently glancing over at some sample code of mine. Oh, that's crazy looking. Okay, so we got this giant, ugly line graph. There we go, bar mark. We need this to have a frame. There we go. Here's what's cool. You can make these have gradients. Look at that, nice and pretty. I'm gonna center everything. Now to get this welcome text on the left, I'm just gonna make it an H stack with a spacer. Then I'm gonna add a button. Cool. Little too much spacing in our V stack. But yeah, I think we're working with something here. Now it's important to talk about color because in the beginning of this, I was just like, let's just get some stuff on the screen. But there's this thing called color psychology and each color conveys an emotion to your user. And it's very important for, for this app's branding to have colors that convey the right feeling. So when I think of gaining control of your screen time addiction, I think of positivity and growth, and the color for that is green. Now in the last video, I mentioned how awesome dark mode is, especially with this screenshot for inspiration that we have. So I think for the color scheme, we're gonna go like a dark gray slash black combined with green, like a company that I used to work for. I think that color scheme is so clean. So let's start playing around with that. I'm gonna have like a blended, yeah, for my graph. I'm gonna come down to this button and make this green. And I'm gonna import a custom green at some point. The other thing is too, we need to add some shadows. It just makes everything look better, especially this box. Pay attention to the, uh, the triple box we have up here. Watch how much difference a shadow makes. Ugh, it's inside of everything. We don't want that. Here's a trick to get, to be able to do that. Okay, that's way too strong. We want like 0 0.1 on that shadow. Yeah, cool. We need to make our welcome text a lot bigger. We need to make our numbers a lot bigger. Perfect, we got our home screen. Now this UI will, um, what do Pokemon do? Evolve. This, this will evolve, especially with the, the dark mode and the colors. But I like green and I like the way this looks. So this is what we're rocking with. Actually, one thing is bothering me. Let's make the foreground style black for that guy. Cool. These are gonna have to be moved up. This is gonna have to be prettier. This chart is gonna have to obviously have real data. This lockdown button actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna import a custom font at some point, but yeah, so far, so good. Home view, done. The statistics view is gonna be a little tricky. Now I'm gonna copy the chart. We have to import charts, Logan. All right, let's take a glance at the statistics. So we have a pickup and a time dropdown menu, and then we have a chart with a message. So let's work from the bottom up. Let's be positive today. I'm in a good mood, great job. Your screen time is lower than last week. Oh, that's too big. Maybe regular? It's still too big. I'm getting, yeah, that looks good. I like that. And the other thing too is we want like a segmented control, which I'm gonna have to look up how to do, to be honest. Paul Hudson, hacking with Swift. You have no idea how much I use your code. Here comes our picker. Here comes our, ooh. Okay, we're gonna make this pretty small yeah that's all we need red green blue it's gonna be like what are we gonna do here past three days past week month and if we're repeating ourselves three times 
We don't need to say past, past, past. Three days, week, month. Understood. Now, let's get these containers. There's gonna be a title for it, so it's gonna be text pickups. 34. Next, we're gonna say average. 23, 24 is your average. You have 34 today. Well, my math is not adding up because if it's weekly, it's gonna be 59. It's gonna be like 149. Okay, and the same thing, we're gonna add those pretty little lines separators we want our alignment if i can spell it to be leading then we want the spacing in this to be hefty then i'm going to copy my background stuff from here to make pickups look a little better i don't love it we're going to do this and we're going to make this a more subtle heading that width is what's messing me up there it is look at that still too much though we want padding if I make this smaller I think it'll fit better yeah I like that so now I'm gonna copy this screen time and then the picker the picker needs to live with the chart so we're gonna put this in a V stack copy the message no actually I want the message to live outside of this but I'm gonna put the chart inside here then I'm gonna give this like a background thin material in Rounded rectangle, corner radius 20. And then a padding to beef that up, but it's huge. So let's make this smaller. Ooh, oh, I don't need parentheses there. Starting to look good. Now we need that border again. We're gonna use this one. It is too thick though. We want like 0 0.1 of a border. Ooh, it's like reflective. Oh no, it's not. That's a mistake because the corner radius isn't the same. And then it has a shadow. If I add a shadow to everything, it's gonna mess it up, right? Yeah, hideous, hideous. Okay, so screen time. This is gonna say like three hours today. Let's check out our home view. These numbers are huge. 24 might be plenty, perfect. I don't like the spacing. Yeah, four is the magic number. So we got 24 for the number, 14. I'm gonna copy this. Okay, it's bothering me that they're saying the same thing. We have three hours and then we have average is gonna be like 7.3, I don't know. And this maybe like, I don't know what to put here. I'm gonna put a question mark and I'm gonna fill this in while I code, not weekly. Yeah, okay, now watch this. Tab view, um, we'll just do text and then we'll do statistics view dot tab item not table column header stats now when we run our app we will get the moment of truth look at that and you thought i wasn't going to build a nice design now this is simple and that's on purpose i don't want there to be too much stuff i think the chart does look a lot better with a background question marks are bothering me because it's throwing off the width for, of, of this view it's sloppy but it's a start it's coming together and I hope you are as excited as I am because the premise of this app is the feature that I can't reveal yet so you will you will find that out in due time and it's a game changer I promise but yeah thank you for watching I'm halfway home at the pub on the corner of the street